Now, Southampton Docks is one of the biggest for trade and passengers in Europe. The latest figures show it exports almost 1 million cars and carries 1.5 million containers a year. Well, many working there today are from families who've relied on the docks for employment for generations. In the second of our reports, down the docks, our transport correspondent Mike Pierce has been to meet workers old and new. The port of Southampton is home to every type of import and export. At the container terminal, cranes tower over the docks as some of the biggest ships in the world are unloaded. The figures are impressive. 45,000 jobs supported and £40 billion of exports every year. In fact, walk into just about any shop in the country and you'll find things that have come through the docks. Many families have worked here for generations. I, like I, say, I don't know whether I chose a job or the job, job chose me really. I, I sort of, dad, 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 dad had a good career here, my granddad had a good career here. There's no reason why I should have, should have a good career here. I suppose everyone was exactly the same. Like, again, the community is, is so good. Um, and my, my father told me whenever, whenever there was a funeral, etc., hundreds, hundreds of people used to turn up. There's always a mark of respect for people who, um, who worked here. It's, um, yeah, quite amazing. And what do you get out of working here? Uh, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the most happiest people you're ever going to meet. Uh, I'm, I'm motivated positive, but I'm, what do I get out of it? Happiness. Happiness. In the port, they load and offload 1.5 million containers a year. It's also providing new jobs for apprentices. Why did you want to work in the docks? What's, uh, what was the, the reason for that? Uh, following my dad, mainly. Um, he's, he's worked here for the past 16 years. Um, coming in, seeing a different side of it in the engineering side. Um, just challenges, day-to-day -day challenges of fixing different massive bits of machinery. And you were saying you live and watch the docks for all your life so far? Yeah, whenever cruise ships are in, we always come out, watch them go, watch them leave. On the other side of the docks, the massive operation to export 900,000 cars a year and many other vehicles on top. It's all part of a vast operation many never see. And this massive new car park is the latest addition. We're running uh, 20, 23 hours a day, funnily enough, for uh, five days of the week. And then we have uh, half shifts on, on Saturdays and Sundays. So, yeah, I mean, cars keep getting delivered. Uh, if you look at the other end of the scale, the, the car manufacturers, they don't have room at the plant. So as cars come off the production line, they want to get them to the export ports, which is what we are for them, for, for our, our big customers. And of course, then we've got to clear the ground so that we can keep the factories running. So it's not just about keeping the port of Southampton or, or our particular terminal running. We've got to think about further down the logistics chain that car manufacturers need to keep their car plants cleared. What's it like working here? And what's it been like for you over those years? I'd say it grows on you, most definitely grows. I think once you've worked in the docks, you really wouldn't want to go and work anywhere else. Uh, I started off in the docks 28 years ago. As to the future, more facilities and cruise terminals are planned, with the docks set to continue playing a leading role in the region's economy. Mike Pierce, ITV News, Southampton Docks.